Okay, so as you can see, we got it all welded in. Um, Joe sprayed it with some black POR paint. Uh, we're going to DA it down just to see where the high and low spots are. Um, again, this is going to be covered by vinyl, so it's not critical that it's like completely flat. But, you know, we just want to make sure it's not going to look wonky under the vinyl once that gets glued down. So, bring in for like a closer shot. Um, so, yeah, Joe's, Joe's the master welder here. So, he has the bottom, the, the actual sheet metal all butt, butted together and welded. There's still a few spot welds he has to finish off in the gutter. Um, so basically, he would tack down the whole bottom side, then grind down the weld to get it flat, and then tack in between that, and you just continue that process until it's completely welded up. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's relatively flat. I mean, the curve is pretty much the way the factory curve was. I mean, I think once we get the vinyl on it, you'd never know it was replaced. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at. We're gonna have to DA the roof just to get that prepped for for the glue. There's some areas like where it started rusting a little bit. And you could see like basically where the vinyl seam was, there's some glue residue. So once we DA that down, it'll be completely, you know, just the, this primer kind of surface. So that's what we're looking at right now. Um, probably a little more welding on Joe's end. And some sanding prep for the glue. Some paint. Uh, all this is going to have to be sanded and, you know, paint put over this to protect it. Again, you're not going to see all this because the vinyl is going to be covering it, but um, the trim line is pretty much right along the seam. Um, this piece got pretty scuffed up. I mean, this the paint on this car was never great. Um, I mean, I was kind of maybe, kind of thinking maybe just doing some panel painting on some of this. Um, not exactly sure. I mean, it'll be fine to cruise around. I'm not that worried about it, but who knows? Maybe once this is all done, we'll do some minor paint work to it. But that's where we're at with uh, the welding situation. So, yeah, hope you're enjoying the series. This car, hopefully, it's going to be on the road soon. I think this summer, I'm hoping to get it out. We'll see. Okay, so as you can see, the panel is all welded in. We got a little bit of a skim of JB Weld on there just to make sure everything's sealed up real good. Um, so now I'm uh, moving on and DA the roof. There's still some glue residue from the seam, a little bit of rust. We got to knock that down. Uh, and then basically they'll be prepped for the glue. We'll probably spray some paint on where it's rusted. It's not, luckily it's not too bad. Just a couple little areas up front in the middle. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll get a little bit of the DA action just to, so you can see how it goes. Actually, it's pretty quick. Once you get all the actual uh, sticky glue off with the did acetone. You say, did you say DA? DA. Oh, I
Okay, so it's final top day. Uh, I'll show you where we ended up with the uh, patch panel. Uh, actually, Joe did a little, uh, I guess, glazing work to it and then put some color match spray on it. So it's actually looking really well. Um, there's the strip of vinyl that's going to cover that piece. I'm going to bring it outside, put it in the sun so it kind of heats up. As you can see, we have all the gutter painted up. Uh, even down inside where the trim will go and the top has all been final DA and cleaned so it's all ready for some adhesive and then the top so I probably won't capture too much of actually putting a top on uh, it's a little tedious but I'll see what I could do just to kind of give you guys a general idea now we've I've seen one of these done before I helped out. Uh, it was on one of Ed's cars. Turned out really nice. So hopefully we have the same luck and uh, it goes smooth today. Alright, so here it is. Uh, top's pretty much on. It's not completely trimmed up yet. Um, we're going to wait to do the final trimming when the chrome trim is going back on. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. Um, this is this like rear kind of sail panel back here. was kind of tough to get. Some pretty sharp angles on it but um, pretty happy with how it turned out uh, this was a two-piece top so we do have a specific vinyl adhesive that's gonna basically uh, for lack of better terminology melt those two pieces together fuse them um, it did make putting the top on much easier uh, without having you know a one-piece top you'd have to stretch this whole thing around the window and it's it, while attempting to keep all this you know completely wrinkle free and then also trying to get the bottom trimmed up so having a two-piece actually I think made it way easier um, I don't think it's not like how the factory did them but this isn't you know factory uh, specific restoration it's just a cruiser as I've said many many times before but I'm very happy with how it turned out really like it I mean it's nice to see a sheen on the vinyl roof where before you've seen in the older videos it's just it was sunbaked it was it was it was done so real happy with how it turned out um, kind of update you once we get all the chrome and stuff on it so that's it, vinyl top is on. Next, it's gonna be headliner and put the interior back together. Look, look at it. Got it trimmed up. Chrome's being set in place. Uh, looks really good, the top turned out really nice. Uh, look at that gutter too, I mean, geez. Looks factory, you never know. Um, we still have to glue the seam here. Um, I got the batting up for the headliner. So, as you'll remember, I dynamated the roof. And uh, so now I just use some Loctite spray adhesive, uh, put some poly batting up, and then the headliner will go in. And once that's good, we could put. I believe the headliner comes over a little bit of this like inside trim. So you kind of got to like finish, you got to get the chrome on because I don't know if I pointed out, but this piece right here has like studs on the, on the back. So then you have to thread it through the interior. So you can't, you got to put this piece of chrome on first before you put the headliner in. Cause you can see on that side, the headliner is going to be glued up against that 
back pillar. So you kind of got to do the top and the headliner kind of like in tandem a little bit. There's there's an order to it, but like you just got to be aware of it. So basically the headliner is right now it's prepped to put the headliner in permanently and glue whatever pieces of the headliner in place and then uh, finish gluing the top. Now, I mean, I guess I say finish gluing. We just want to like get this, the edge. There's, we just pulled up a little bit of the edge and we're gonna like really stick it down into the gutter and just uh, get that glued up, kind of finalized. Um, so yeah, really happy with it. Looks really good. I mean, the thing that's really kind of trippy for me is when I got the car, actually, I think I have a piece yeah, right over here. This is the old vinyl. That's what was on there. And it's just so dry and dull. So to actually see like a luster on the top is wild. I remember when I got the car, I was spraying Armor All on it. I probably used like a whole bottle of Armor All and it literally just absorbed every ounce of it. It was shiny for literally about two hours and then it just, it baked right in and it was back to dull. So to see it just shiny, it's trippy. So. Really happy with how it's coming out. Uh, trim looks really good. I mean, I think having the backdrop of like the, the nice, you know, semi-gloss top really kind of sets the trim off. I mean, the trim was always good on the car, but just kind of blended in with that just blah top. So that's where we're at with it. Um, I really don't think there's too much to say. I, I'm gonna throw some six by nines in the back just to have something back there. And then I'm gonna have basically an auxiliary cord up to the driver's seat so I could plug in, you know, phones and stuff so you could play your playlist. I mean, I don't plan on listening to music in this, but I think we're at a stage where you might as well just spend a couple bucks, get some six by nines, throw them in there. So if you ever do wanna wire something in, you at least have it. So that's kind of the plan. Cause it's just so easy to get at them with the, having the glass out. So yeah, that's where we're at. Vinyl tops on for the most part, just some finishing work. Put the chrome back on. Then the rest of the interior should pretty much just slam back together pretty quick. It's literally get a carpet, put the seats back in, and we're done. And then I think there's a few minor things I gotta finish on the engine. Now if you look at the engine video, you'll notice that a lot of the AC is not hooked up. So. It'll drive fine without it, but I think you know before I actually take it out, out we're gonna have to you know finish up uh, some of the AC on the car and you know basically get it working because it wasn't working when it came in. Also, oddball thing, the master brake cylinder is leaking. It was leaking during break-in which is very odd, but a lot of these reman ones, sometimes they just don't last long. So I'm gonna have to get another one, roll the dice on whether that one's gonna leak. Um, but we gotta throw a new master brake cylinder uh, in there. So, yep, that's where we're at. Uh, I think Joe has some stuff going on with this car over here. So you might be seeing this car a little bit. This is a Barracuda. Interesting, interesting car. It's a California car. All right. Like, comment, share the video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll have this 300 out soon. The weather's starting to get nice. <laughs>